ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, where we finally have the crucial piece of evidence in the Argamir case, which is a shovel, for some stupid reason. It wasn't the ledger, no, it wasn't the ledger that confessed his crimes. It was not his, the body of himself in the tomb, as well as his henchman who was following me around and who was killed by the city watch. No, these were not evidence enough. It was the shovel that we required, wasn't it, Thoroneer? Were you able to stop Argamir? Yes, here is his shovel. Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you, I'd be next. It is fortunate that your skills exceeded his. I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made as well as what is left of these stolen items to the temple. I also want you to know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen, and I have decided to join the society. Oh, you've joined her little cartel you then. I your life to give me a chance, and Thoranir never forgets things like that. Accept this ring as a humble reward. It's the least I can do to say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. With a ward circlet. Huh. I have disposed of all my ill-gotten merchandise and replaced it with more expensive but carefully obtained items. Let's look at this ring. Resist fire 7%, resist frost 7%. It's valuable as fuck though, so fair enough. Um all right. shown me mercy. I won't forget that. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess. So do I... Is, am I going to get paid by Jensen or not? Not that you can afford to pay me now. <laughs> I wonder why that could be. <laughs> um, still. Oh, you've had a break-in? Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry, Jensen. And they left this behind, huh? Weird. Odd kind of a calling card, I suppose. Uh, who would do that, I wonder? Still, I'm, I'm terribly sorry to hear you've been broken into, but I solved the old uh, Thoranir thing. I have been anxiously awaiting your return. Uh-huh. Yeah. The very thought of what Agarmir was doing sickens me. I hope those poor souls rest in peace now that this is over. Well done. This shovel will certainly confirm Agarmir's crime. Of course it will. Along of course, for some reason it will. Useful to the city watch. <laughs> yeah, because they were missing a shovel apparently. They just visited, happened to need a shovel. The city scheme. watch. Nox's evidence. Him when he says oh, he I, didn't uh, know Agarmir's sources. He told me of his intentions to donate all of the money this, and inventory This quest to the dumbfounds me with he its insane shovel-related logic. at fair prices. I'm almost Last speechless. Last but not least, he's officially joined the society. I am taken aback by his honest intentions. In return, the society has decided not to press charges. Press charges? His name will be absconded from the records of this crime. What the fuck kind of authority does now, your society have? I'm sure you are waiting to hear about your reward. The society thanks you for everything you have done. Please, take this gold. Many thanks on behalf of all of us. I wasn't aware we were living in some sort of a narco-capitalist dystopia where a bunch of greedy merchants can throw people in jail for charging too much money. Ugh. I'm glad I robbed you. Um... Good heavens. Good afternoon. Is a talented smith. This, uh... This city, eh? This, this fucking city. <laughs> Dog! There you are. I mean, you're here somewhere. There you are. Um... Right. I'm gonna go get a package to deliver, because I can't think of anything else to do right now. 
the, the shovel thing, and then and then apparently the Society of Concerned Merchants actually has power over the law. Like what? What? Hi there. What? I don't understand. The city's fucked up. How goes it? Um. Right. Yes, let's go get a thing to deliver just to kill some time, I guess. Oh, I, could, I suppose I could just, like, go find a tavern or something and sit down for a few hours. Because we've got plenty of do to do tonight. I want to, A, rob the uh, Corthos Curiosities. B, rob somewhere else so I can get... Grey Fox protects fucking you. Fucking Christ. And Health and fortune, Traveller. bus. I'm Denari Amnes. May the Nine bless your dreams. I'm almost certain your hair didn't... Are you wearing a wig? You're part of the Thieves' Guild, apparently. It's the city of Ty Perceptin, youngest of the gods. Go to the palace and the Temple of the One. Stand on the stones where Talus stood. Uh-huh. Shadow hiding. It's got to be a wig, right? How are you today? I'm having a very strange day. Uh... Anyway, uh, yes, right. Gold horse courier package to deliver stuff. Uh, have I delivered twenty packages yet? I we should talk to Goldhorn next time I see him. Um. Hi. Wow. Yeah. Imperial City's nuts. Does someone, like, put skooma in my apple pie or something today? Because everything seems a little more weird around here than usual. Afternoon. Anyway, as I was saying, and I've gone the wrong fucking way again. Um, I to go back the other way. Um, as I was saying... The stuff I want to do tonight. We want to rob Kurath, call those curiosities. We want to rob somewhere else to look for sewer entrances and basements and more, more vault keys. Hello. Do you... Yeah, whatever. Um. Bye. Felicia Spinello in the arena district works in the offices of, offices of the magistrate in the, in the market district. It's packages for her. And where precisely is she? I don't know. Let's follow the arrow. Um. Yeah, no, I want to do that stuff too. And also, we're going to visit the South Watchtower yes. to get these taxes back. Yes, we are. I could. I, I don't want to try and do it in broad daylight, so. I think that would be jolly stupid. You know, just. Ah, okay. The game finally crashed again. Hooray! I think I quick saved further recently. Let's hope I did. Alright. We're back in the game. Um We're now actually delivering a package to Montfort in his in in his bakery in the market district this time. Because it would appear what is it? What is it? can confirm that now, after having reloaded the game after it crashing like that. Uh, I can confirm that um the packages are indeed randomly generated because last time we got someone else in the somewhere somewhere uh, the uh, the arena district that was it, um, but this time it gave me Montfort's bakery in the market district so yeah it is randomly generated cool oh hey by what right do you disturb me by what right do you disturb me I would like to go see you later actually since you're on your way to your shop um because food and drink. I want I wouldn't. Cup of tea. I need one right now. Um, I want to sell some stuff to you, dudes. Some uh, merchandise. You don't never did clear up your book accident. I see. Hello again. You're turning out to be, to be quite my my most frequent customer. Really? Holy crap! Business must not be booming. I see. I just wanted to see if you had any um cloaks, but you don't. So never mind. Farewell. Right. 
Oh yeah, I'm tired. Oh. Hmm. Nice little fountain in that. What is it, citizen? Oh, God. Now losing my my mind every time it pauses like that when I'm opening a door because I feel like it's gonna crash again, but no, I think we're good. Alright, so the bakery. That's on the upper level, isn't it? Yeah. I might get some, I might get some lunch there while we're at it. Actually, I'm late lunch, but hey. Um, a nice cake or something? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Oh, I'm making myself hungry now. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. The quick cobbler. Yes, you've got the deer skin boots in there, haven't they, that don't weigh anything. Not that that matters now. Where are they? There they are, deer skin boots. Weight zero. That's probably a bug, so it feels kind of wrong to exploit it anyway, to be fair. But uh, yes, yes, I didn't nick those, and apparently I should not I should have, so, you know, whatever. I'm sure we'll live, guys. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay. Empire's best fine time for returning to the Reluctant Ranger. Yeah, that's not going... I'm, I'm reluctant to return to the Reluctant Ranger, <laughs> because I stole a bunch of shit from him. I guess that's supposed to be a mirror, but like doing a reflection in the game isn't really possible with Oblivion's engine, so it's just a blank thing. Either that or it's modern art, I don't know. It could be one of the two. What? What? What did you say? Something about banning me? If I hear you've gone to see Palinari, I'll ban you from my store. Need new clothing? I have a fantastic selection. Oh, I'm so Oh, I'm going to rob you tonight, possibly. You bitch. You don't even have cloaks for sale. I don't even care. I don't even care. You don't have cloaks for sale. Screw you. Bit and bridle. I wouldn't mind buying a horse, you know. If I had to go traveling to a different city, I would like to do it on horseback, you know? It would be grand. Then again, horses are probably expensive, and I don't know if you can even buy them here. Yes, YouTube commenters, I know that you can't buy horses in the Imperial City. I was talking in character. Calm down. Um, <clears throat> that's some nice looking cake you got there, my friend. Let's do business. Well, actually, here's a delivery. Been waiting for these recipes from Olive for quite some time. There you go. Go ahead. You're a nice baker. I'll just talk to you. All right, good. jokes and admiration. I can do that. What a one. Don't that. Not bad. Not. Yeah, right. Uh, That's pretty good. What a one. Don't go. make me laugh. What can I int? Am I going to hack off my cakes? Damn right I am. What do you got? Ales, well, white bread, apple pie, beef and leek savory pie. Ooh, that, 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 um. That tickles my fancy, actually, that does. I'll take a pie. And <laughs> more cheese wheels. Um, oh, actually, these have freaking alchemical effects. I should really check what they are. Detect life, eh? Bread roll, bre bread loaves have detect life. I could make a lot of detect life potions. And you know what? They are so useful to me as a thief. I'm going to take a, f a few loaves of bread. Seems such a waste to put all these nice baked goods into potions, but uh, I cannot deny some of them have pretty useful effects. Like feather, for example. Oh god, do we need feather potions. Ideally, I would like that magic ring the damn, you know, dude in the jewelry shop has. I, st I still don't feel comfortable going back there to rob him again yet, but we will. Um, Because that, that ring has a feather effect on it, if I recall. And I want feather... I want it. Yes, I do. Also, the Enchanter next door, I want to go see if I can get her little um, dialogue option to activate for for, for enchanting and stuff, because I think some people in the comments said the reason why the option wasn't there in her dialogue is because I didn't have enough money on me. Um, so I want to go next door and check if it's there, because if it is, it means I might be able to actually enchant some stuff, like cause some rings and amulets of feather and stuff would be great, because, you know, we're going to rob a bank. Full of gold bars and stuff. I'm, I'm gonna want 
feather out the wazoo. Really? So... Anyway, yeah, sweet cakes with feather. I'll take them. Uh, in the meantime... And I'll just take a chocolate cake. It's, just, it's chocolate Thank cake. You. Why wouldn't you? You too. Hello, dog. Good to sit down here. Pour myself some tea. <laughs> I'm going to eat my pie. Where is my pie? There it is. I'm going to eat my pie. I'm going to eat my cake. And... Look at the sky and get up so I don't accidentally nick something off the table. And then we'll pop in here. Hello. Yes. Okay, it's a thousand gold. But that does not include the cost of the item you're enchanting, by the way. That's like an upfront fee. You have to pay a thousand gold. And then that's in addition to whatever the enchanted item costs as well. So it's fucking expensive to enchant stuff. But... Again, I am okay with this because I don't want to be swimming in gold. So if, if, if I have to pay a thousand gold just to enchant an item, you know, it beats joining the Mages Guild. So I'm, I'm cool with that. But yeah, okay. So that does work. It's not the mod that's broken. It was just, I didn't have enough money with me. Because that's how the dialogue topics work in this game, I guess. Um, all right. Be seeing you. I also need to rob her at some point because one of those jink blades with paralyzed would have been really useful. Fighting, you know, Argamir and his mate earlier. Luckily, I survived even so, but yeah. That's Blue South House, whatever. Right. Dog, please try not to kill yourself on the way down here. I know what you're like with stairs. Oh, hello. Where would that lead into? Three Brothers Trade Goods, I suppose, probably. It still bothers me that I couldn't find a key. And I'm sure if there was a key there, people in the comments who have actually played the mod before will have told me already where it is. But unfortunately, I'm recording four of these episodes in one day, so I won't have seen any of your comments. Sorry! Uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the Merchant's Inn. And dog. Uh, you know what, dog? Go home. No, 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 no. Go home. Off you go. Don't be like that with me. Um, okay, he's gone home. I'm gonna go chill in the merchants in for a while. You know, buy a couple of drinks, I guess. What? What? A little food um, and drink will do you. Buy a couple of ales or whatever. Get the two, I suppose. Not all at once, you know, but over the next few hours. We'll buy a couple of ales. And then we're going to wait. Just hang around, chatting with other patrons, you know, drinking ale as you would do. And then it comes to 1am and he's like, right, okay, you're right. Either get a room or get out. So we get out. Your deposit has something at the bank. And interest. Hey, nice. Um, all right. So now... It's time to get to work. So, we're actually a bit later than I wanted to be, because I let the, uh, the damn wait thing go get away from me there a bit. However, call those curiosities. That's the first one up tonight, so let's go. Caught those curiosities. Yes, yes, yes. Who knows guest house? Nope. What's with the lights? They look really, they look really weird for some reason. Caught those curiosities. Oh God, we're right next to the damn gate. Holy crap! Hello. Um. All right, they. I don't think they can see me. Yeah, they can't. Okay. Excellent, he's not here. Okay, let's get to work. Mm 
Don't mind if I do. How many lockpicks do I have now out of curiosity? I'm not taking the human heart. I can get lost. I have 75 picks. That's more like it. I can afford a few fuck ups now. Like that, for example. Security skill increased. I don't even know what my security skill is either. Bala stones. Oh, God. They give light off, apparently. Black soul gem. Grand soul gem. Greater soul gem. Thank you very much. Ooh. These go, these go for flight too. Um, okay. Hourglass. Nope. Uh, ooh. Yes. 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 Anything in the lectern? I need an inkwell. <laughs> These are stupendously heavy, however, Dramora Mace does 5 damage. It's actually not very good at all. She looks very fancy. Focus Teeth. Uh, I'll, I can live without the Troll Fan. It's alright with you. Um, Minotaur Horn, which is surprisingly heavy. And here's what I came for. Potion of Invisibility. Expert Alembic. Expert Retort. Expert Morster and Pestle. Expert Calcinator. Uh, yes! Get in. Right. Beautiful. That is great. That is truly magnificent. All right, the basement. It's not locked. Hmm. What do we have down here? I'm gonna take that because I need to actually repair a few things. I'm not. I'm, I'm too much of a cheapskate to actually. Uh, you know. <laughs> Pay to get it repaired. Um, what have we got here? A chest. Yeah. It bugs me how damn worthless silver, like, bowls and goblets and stuff are in this game. It really annoys me. Because, but the way Beth Bethesda have done it is they've looked at it and said, well, it's made of silver, so it can't be worth that many gold coins, right? Except that's not how it works. One thing, the gold coins in circulation probably are only, like, partially made of gold. Like, the currency will have been debased. Um. Chainmail helmet? Nah. Um. And for another thing, that's just assuming that you don't put any value on, like, the craftsmanship behind it. So. Well, no sewer entrance. So, I kind of expected that, though. So, that's fine. Right, I could go upstairs, but I don't think I need to or want to. I think we're running on short on time tonight, so I'm just going to skedaddle. All right, that one's down. Next, we want to go check some of the main shops. Basements. For sewer entrances. I wonder if you can get into a sewer entrance via the bathhouse. You'd think so, but because it's modded, probably not. What the fuck is out here having a conversation? It's how they recruit new members. What's doing out here at this time of night? Interesting. What's the news? Where do we go here? Yolga Karaf? Oh god, dude. It's Leaf the Open Handed. Could you I know you're one of my waterfront buddies, but even so it'll still count as a crime if you see me, so could you fuck off, maybe? Alright, I can do this one at least. Are heavy. Why am I robbing an armor? Is everything's gonna be too heavy to carry out with me? Stupid idea. Never mind. They've got something decent. Oh, they've got their chest actually. Uh, right. Fine wood desk. Exquisite quill. Finely measured weight. Now. Nah. More chests. Okay, you know what? We're going upstairs! Let's see if we can find some keys. Okay. Got a display case over there. Right. 
We need to be rigorous with our searching. Oh, potatoes. Shield potions. In other words. Uh, let's not tr trash the everything on the table, just on principle. Who are you, Bernardo? Okay. Okay. Ooh. Beyond my abilities, huh? What about scrolls? Damn, only open easy. That's annoying. I wonder if I can get it open if I get I can get the key off him. My banded chest. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I didn't expect to find these up here, I'll be honest. Alright. You know what time it is. Bowie long knife, holy crap. Nord war curious. Beautiful, we got away with it. Maybe I should try pickpocketing more often from now on. We seem to get <gasps> away with it more often than I thought. Hello, best defense vault key. My suspicions are confirmed. There's a vault somewhere and everybody's shit is in it. No wonder these guys are still in business after I rob them. Ah, oh, if only I could get these open though. You know what? Guys, I'm gonna level with you. I've got his key. It will unlock the chest downstairs. Not these ones though, because game logic. However, obviously the key would unlock this because it will unlock the chest downstairs. Why not these ones? So, you know what? If you have a problem with this, I don't care. But logically speaking, I should be able to get into these with what I have. Uh, let's see. I already have a pair of mythical gauntlets. Shield of the Untamed. Shame it's heavy armor, really. Still. Small blue cape. What? Where are all the brown capes? Um, mythical gauntlet. Maybe I'll take them anyway. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Dilemma Arrows? Nah, it's only nine of them. If there were more, I'd think about it. But fine steel mace, though. That would make a fine weapon if I sell it to old, um, what's-his-face? Uh, down at the waterfront. Norn, Stoneheft, or whatever. Buy it back off him. Oh, crap. Um, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect to be over-encumbered this damn early. What would gives? That's the stupid Akaviri Sunderblade, isn't it? And the Debaser as well. Oh my god, why are you so heavy? Ah, ah, it's annoying. I'm dropping my, my iron mace. That'll, okay, I can now move at least, but I can't grab much else. Alright, can I have those? I can have that and that and that. And yeah, again, if you've got a problem with this, that is fair enough. But logically, I've got his key. It will open the chest downstairs, but it won't open these ones up here, up here because why? I don't know. And even if the key, that key didn't open specifically these chests, he would have a key on him that did. Because you wouldn't just lock your stuff up away in here and then literally throw away the key. Because I guarantee you, if I go searching around in this room, I will not find the key to these chests. It does not exist because, as I said, RPG game logic or whatever. Um, why is, you got, is, it, is it with you guys in blue capes? I don't get it. Uh, anyway. Those mithril boots are slightly tempting, because I don't have any. Uh, Alright, fine. I drop. I'm still carrying this around with me for some stupid reasons. Well, that's because I want to sell it at some point, but I can't find anyone to sell it to. My padded moccasins are broken. Oh no. Oh wait, no, they're not mine. They were Argamir's. <laughs> um, well, all this stuff isn't helping. Like the Minotaur horn, for example. Whatever, I guess we'll drop that. And we're, I'm leaving some very odd calling cards, aren't I? <laughs> Whatevs. Okay, I think we're done here. So, the basement then. Oh, also these. See? I opened them to the key. Oh, no, great. Ages of the Oh, God. I can't take it. It's too heavy. Oh, this is all worthless as well. Actually, how much carrying capacity do I have? Right, I'm taking... I can afford to take, like, two hammers. There we go. 
because I need to repair some stuff. So, I mean, the hammer's right there. Might as well take them, yeah? Okay, we've got the key, so we can get into the basement. Another chest. Nothing good in it. Oh, hello. Finally. Hello there. Who the fuck are you? You don't work here, do you? In Wilm? Nice wine. Well, actually, no, it's terrible wine, actually. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who's in here? Oh, that's nice wine, though. Hello. Shame I can't take it with me. Right. Interesting. Market tool. Yes! Right. We still need to go get those tax records and the tax money back off Hieronymus Lex in the South Tower. That doesn't necessarily have to be done tonight, though. Fuck's sake. I don't talk while well, I'm opening locks. I've often explained in the past that the reason Let's Players like myself suck at games so badly when we're, being, when we're recording is because... That's a dog. Um, is because when you're talking, you, you can't concentrate as much on what you're doing. And I feel... Um, please quick save and not crash. There we go. I feel like these, these, these locks are proving the pudding. Because as soon as I shut up and stop talking, I actually focus on the lock fully. I can open them without much too much trouble, but if I'm commentating while I'm opening the locks, I constantly fuck it up. And it's something you won't understand unless you've ever done it yourself. You know, let's play and stuff like that and streaming or whatever. You won't get it unless you've done it yourself, but that's proof of it right there. It's with with the lock thing. Okay, I hear voices. Is that Alright. Okay, so people live here, it seems. I don't know where I am, generally speaking, right now in the sewers. I could open my mini-map thingy and it'd probably tell me, actually. But I'm not going to, because that's basically cheating. Let's see if we can just wander around down here for long enough and... Stumble on... Bark, 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 bark. yes, dog, I'm... I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to kill this doggo, quite possibly. Makes me sad, but I think it might have to happen, because I don't think I can sneak past him. I tell you what, I'll quick save. Try to sneak past, even though I won't be able to get into that chest now, but then again, I'm over encumbered as fuck right now, so I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, I suppose these people aren't necessarily going to be hostile, but experience has taught me they probably will be. They're hanging around down here in the sewers. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Yeah. They don't make comments like that if they're friendly. Why do I... Singing pipes! Um... I'm hearing moans coming from the sewer pipes. That's probably not a good sign. The fuck's lurking down here underneath the city? I wish I was wearing some rougher clothes than this. For crawling around in the sewers, but never mind. Trip to the bathhouse might be in order at some point. Oh, cripes. Hello. <gasps> okay. Now that's interesting. That's another sh like. It's another sealed gate. Every time I look at one of these sealed gates, I think to myself, is that the one that leads to the bit of the sewers? I want. Simple fact is it might. Okay. Feeling like maybe it does. Lucky for me, I think it's 
almost pitch black down here as far as the AI is concerned. Huh. Oh, What's that? Nothing at all. You keep looking that way. Yes! This is it! And the place is infested with bandits. That is unfortunate. I don't want to kill you guys, but I'm going to have to. Well, I suppose I don't have to. I suppose I could carry on sneaking past you all the time. I'm well on the way that leads. Let's find out. They're all Khajiits as well for some weird reason. Well, the woman in there wasn't still. What are you guys doing down here? Hiding from the law, I suspect. Whatever, still. Right under the noses of the Imperial Watch. I guess it makes sense in a way. Still, I can think of nicer places to hide from the law. North Tunnel. Wait a minute. Okay. I am now in the opposite end of the North Tunnel, which means I might be able to clear a path to the exit, which means I might have I might be able to find myself an exit path out of this damn city. Oh, yes, this is all suddenly working out in my favor. That luck had to pay out pay off eventually, right? Oh, oh go away. Seriously. Hold on, we'll take your rat meat. Right. Okay. Where does this lead? Market series. Okay, so there's a lower entrance as well. This bit looked like it was a dead end, honestly. Why well, didn't drop down? And it kind of is. Right, anyway. Back to the north tunnel. Okay, so. Oh, the north tunnel. Where there are snakes in the water. Snakes in the sewers. Snakes in the fucking sewers. Makes me kind of glad that we don't have a toilet. <laughs> Honestly. I want a snake crawling up my um my U bend, you know? <laughs> that would not be good. Stupid mud crabs. Die. Getting all filthy now. It's a shame, but whatever. Needs must. I'm no stranger to filth. Stupid crabs, get out of the way. Sneak attack for seven times damage. Holy crap. I do a lot of damage with sneak attacks now. I need to get a really good weapon. To maximize that. By which I mean steal a really good weapon. <laughs> uh, speaking of which. Uh, this is the best I've got right now. Let's steal, let's steal those nice shiny daggers. But, um... I don't use shiny daggers. I don't. I use blunt weapons and axes. Oh, snake. 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 Snake in the water. Ah, that's horrifying. It's a freaking anaconda. Fucking... Go away, snake. Die. Die. It was it was It was, it was slithering away from me. Oh my god. Snake poison is really good as it turns out. I have, now I have a real reason to kill snakes beyond. They make, they creep me out. Because they are a source of really, really fucking good venom. Um, I'm glad it didn't bite me on that note. <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, still. Uh, I think. We're making progress here. There's nothing else down here other than snakes and crabs. We're already in the North Tunnel. I am confused. Ah, but this is the bit we were in already. Okay.
But that wasn't a great reassuring sound, was it? Whoa. Hello, ratty. What are you doing? It's like you took damage there, but I don't know what Ah, for God's sake. Maybe we should just sell the rusty iron dagger and keep an elven one. It actually weighs less. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Goodbye, rusty iron dagger. Your services are no longer required. I'm going to keep one of these elven ones instead. The rare occasions, and they're probably going to be very rare occasions, actually, where I have to knock someone unconscious in the middle of a fight. Which I could do with with these bandits stuff I'm running into. I, this, this, uh, this I realize. But the problem with that is... Here we go. The problem with that is I actually have to, like, go into a stand-up fight with them. Instead of just sneak attacking them and outright killing them. My conscience would feel better if I just, you know... Um... My conscience would feel better if I just, uh... Where is that snake? I can hear the little thing slithering around here somewhere, but... Anyway. My conscience, or rather Arthur's conscience, would feel better if he, if he left his enemies unconscious. But I can't really do that with sneak attacks, because I'll, I'll probably outright kill him. Alright, now it's you. You're still, like, on high alert, apparently. And you're wearing armor and stuff, and I'm not. And I don't even have any shield potions. Actually, I do have these, technically, but... <laughs> and an elven shield. Alright, you know what? I don't have my bow with me, though. Oh, man. It makes this whole sneak attack business pretty fucking difficult, because she's, she's literally facing this direction, right? <gasps> yes! Stay there. Stay right there. Quick save. Uh, and she's straight up dead. Okay. I just murdered a bandit. Um, not sure how I feel about that. We'll chalk that up to being the first of one of many fuck-ups by Arthur. He meant to knock her unconscious, but she's straight up dead. Maybe he doesn't even realize she's dead, to be honest. Why is the light coming in? What time is it? Six, it's 7 a.m. Holy crap, we've been out all night. Oh yeah, there's this gate. Everyone will go in there. You know I'm not going to go in there. Stupid bandit can stay trapped in there for all I care. Um, right, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go out this way. Probably quicker. Okay, so. Way into and out of the market district. Acquired. Good morning, Imperial Isle. Let us unequip these somewhat incriminating items. Including, now that I think about it, this mace. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'll keep it equipped for now while we're out here in case this freaking wolf attacks me or something. Oh, oh, I don't know, a snake, for example. Um, hello, snake. Let me sneak up on you. Die. Snakes really don't seem that interested in me, but I tell you what, I'm interested in them for that venom. So. Right. Um, what's the best way to get in here? Market city gates there. Oh, the waterfront's all the way around the other side. God damn it. You know what? We'll just go in here and then go straight across the city like that. And that's what we'll do. I'm a little bit annoyed that we couldn't nick the tax records in one night, but I guess a little sewer detour there ensured that it was never to be. Oh, good morning. I so. mean, I don't think so. He doesn't suspect it was me, do you? <laughs> do you think? The store was his cheese wheels. I bought his cheese wheels. I gave him 50 gold. I bought them. 
I didn't steal them. I bought them from him. That's completely the truth, 100%. That's how that's how buying and selling things works, right? <laughs> um Okay. Cool. So, we have an escape route and an entry point. There are a few bandits to sneak past along the way, but that's child's play as it turns out. So, um Cool. Let's go back to our hole in the ground and get a few hours sleep. Uh, to be honest, actually, we could go deliver packages again, but that's boring uh, and doesn't pay us very much. What I need to do is really... Oh, it's you. My sword. Um, what I need to do is find some people to sell my shit to. Really. Uh, let's go and visit Norn Stoneheft. Actually, that'll be the first thing we do when we wake up, I think. Here we go. Ah, oh, Temple Gate. There it says it right there. Okay. We'll go visit Norn, sell him these bits and bobs, buy back this mace so that I can actually, you know, not worry about it getting taken off me. I'm just going to wear it for now. I can't be bothered to wear it, but you know, this is not the way. Um, try and sell whatever else stuff we've got to whoever we can. Because all my fences are running a little low on money right now. That's a problem. Um, maybe we'll, we'll have to go visit Ongar and Bruma. I didn't want to, but it, he's the only one I know of right now. Hail. Maybe I can convince some other merchants to buy stuff off me. Who knows? Because the orcs it? don't have much money left either. I mean, I don't know if or, or when their supply of cash really resets, you know? This is always the, uh, the mad warlock on the waterfront. I wonder if I could convince him. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, I don't... Have pity, sir. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You know what? Bloated float is right there, and the dead rat in my hovel is starting to stink. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to my hovel. How goes it? I'm gonna dump the stuff in there I don't need, and then, even though I hate boats, just this once. And the fact that Arthur hates boats, by the way, means that we're actually denying ourselves a form of fast travel in the game that we can actually do. Because with the mods I've installed, you can um, create Sunderblade. You can actually... Uh, that's almost worth keeping, you know. You can... Uh, you know what? I will hold on to that Elven Shield for now. With, with the mods I've installed, you can actually travel by boat between some of the cities that actually have ports. However, because Arthur hates boats so damn much and gets horribly seasick, he's, he, we're not going to be using any of that fast travel in the game, even though it's there and would make my life easier. I'm not going to do it. Because role-playing! Yes! Role-playing! This is the thing. That's what we do in this, this LP, in case you hadn't noticed. Hmm. I don't like it. It makes me look like Argamir, and Argamir was a bit of a twat. I'm going to go back to wearing my other thing. I'd be pretty sure. Uh, that's that's more me. That's definitely more me.